everybody on YouTube, welcome back. It's time another video for you. I'm just going to show you what I did this weekend. Um, this is the uh, control panel to my uh, Marvel vs. Capcom cabinet, which right now it's running Alpha 3. And uh, one thing you might notice if you see my other videos is that the joysticks now are sitting higher in the cabinet. And actually, they're different joysticks. These are um, these are IL uh, Euro sticks, which are mold-wise identical to the HAP competitions, but there's some significant differences between them. So let me first show you what I did to the cabinet. Um, you might see my video this weekend of me uh, milling out the back of the cabinet. If you look in here, you see now. Let's see if we get in here. The uh, joysticks here are actually recessed into the cabinet now so that they sit further in um, which gives more room so they sit up higher before they were sitting I was so they were so deep into the cabinet that the, the washer actually had to be at the bottom because they're so deep so now it's more along the lines of like where they would be on like this cabinet here or the Neo Geo these are metal panel ca cabinets so they um, they're gonna sit higher anyways and this is a uh, this one's sitting actually um, higher than they are on my Xbox cabinet and mostly just because um, I have a thicker plexi on the top um, but these are still fine height wise they're not you're not gonna it's not really affecting anything even though they are sitting lower um, so the the gameplay is much better with the sticks like this plus swapping out the uh, half sticks for ILs uh, made a big difference too here's the uh, here's the half stick and uh, you'll see the difference is it's got a black du uh, uh, dust washer on it. And I did make one mod to this, is that you'll see that this actually has an IL actuator on the bottom. And uh, if I come over here, I'm going to show you, even though I changed the actuator, there's still another um, issue here. I'm just going to pop this off. So you see, here's the actuator. If I take it off... You see this black plastic here on the um, part the actuator rides on? And uh, on the IL sticks, it's also the white nylon, just like this is. And I think that still that still makes a significant difference. Um, you know, uh, also these have uh, e-switches on them versus zippies. Not zippies, um, cherry brand switches. You'll see here, I don't know if you can see it well there, but inside here, you can see that it's, it's looks like I get that camera right. That that is white inside there as well, and these switches here are all Cherry Brand switches. So it makes a, it makes a significant difference, in my opinion, on it. Um, so that's with the joysticks. Also, uh, I got from a, a friend of mine who uh, his name's uh, Jonathan, and he uh, I uh, did those uh, joysticks for him in the past, and. Uh, he picked up some new uh, buttons for the side of... Uh, he also bought these joysticks as well for me as a thank you. Um, and uh, he also got these buttons. Now I've got black buttons on the side of the Virtual Boy. There. You see right there. I think it looks better. I had white ones in there, but they were just leftover ones from other projects. So um, it just kind of completes the look somewhat. Another thing I want to show you is I changed the marquee out of the Virtual Boy. I'm going to turn it on here. Um, it's the same same graphic, but there was a little uh, flaw in the, in the print up of it, so I put a new one in. And you'll see it's, it looks a lot flatter in here. And what I did is um, I added some Plexi in. And uh, sorry for the crazy. But the. Uh, let me turn this off because it's making a lot of noise. So the thing is that Plexi is pretty expensive. You could spend like 15 bucks for a piece of Plexi just to to do that marquee right there, depending on where you're buying it. And uh, so I came up with a, something that works a little bit better. See, so the thing is, is when you have a printed artwork in a marquee, um, it'll bend backwards and stuff. And even like like this Terminator 2, you can see it's got a little, the um, it's got a crack in it right there. And it's, it's bubble, it's not, it's not attached, but there's nothing holding it up against the glass. And the same thing as Radical Bikers. You can see it actually cracked because there's, there's no support on the back of it. And this is before I got them. But what I found is if you go to like to Walmart, you buy uh, one of those cheap picture frames with the th very thin plexi on it, it's actually cheaper to just buy that 
and uh, cut it and use it for the backing because it, it's strong enough to hold the back of the glass. And I see I bought it. It's a 12-inch uh, wide frame, so it's perfect. All I had to do is just cut it right off at that <laughs> at that line right there, and it fit perfectly in there. And so I got a nice uh, fit for that marquee in there. So that helped out there. Uh, additionally, um, one other thing I'm working on is uh, the crop cycle. Um, you've seen the previous videos where I've been fixing the fan on it, and you know I fixed it several times, but it's still it's still noisy as all heck. And uh, one of the reasons is that the let me get this out of here. So you know, the first thing is that we replaced the uh, this here. This is all new. This is milled to uh, I mean, um, cut on the lathe to uh, fit the end of this. this originally was plastic in there and those things would just break right off. Um, the other thing is that this part here was all ripped up. You can see at the back there. Um, so there's a piece of metal on there with a notch cut that's been riveted on. And originally I had a washer there and then took it off because it was making it too wide. And I still need to cut this part down because it's, it's too tall now because before I didn't have it. So I got to cut a little bit off the back of this and put it back together. But that'll make the make the fan and the prop cycle work a lot better. Um, I got the bottom fan working great. It doesn't make any, I mean, just barely any noise. Um, I, I don't know if it sounds better or worse than it was originally, but I think it's pretty close. It, I mean, it's it's definitely a lot quieter than than it was. Also, in some bad news, it turns out that I have a broken foot. Um, had it for a long time and didn't know it. I just uh, would sit down for a while and go to get up and my foot hurt a lot. And uh, with the um, the exercising and prop cycle, um, it started to get worse. It's probably been broken for months and months and months and didn't know it. And uh, so I can't be doing all the exercising I was doing, but I can still do, uh, I can still ride the prop cycle. Doctor says, okay, to ride prop cycle. Um, I haven't even, I haven't tried it yet this morning. I just got the cast yesterday. And uh, so that kind of stinks. So far, I've lost uh, 30 pounds uh, exercising and uh, diet. Um, still got another 70 to go, but you know it's going well. So hopefully, I will be there. In a, you know, at least in a year from now, um, I'd like to weigh 200 pounds by then. But uh, that's it, guys. Um, so I'm just. Uh, oh, there's one other thing I could show you. I, I've got this uh, Galaxian cab that I've stripped down all the uh, paint off the side of it um, and and the uh, artwork and I think you saw it in a previous video so that's all stripped down and uh, I'm deciding what I'm gonna do artwork wise on it the woods beautiful and so it's kinda leaving me in this uh, dilemma of what I was gonna do originally I was gonna paint it black and put some custom art on the side and now I'm kinda like leaning towards actually polyur putting polyurethane on the side and whatever will I I'll do it I'm sure it'll look good but not any kind of boastful way, just that I'm not going to do something that looks bad. So, Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching this little update video, and I uh, hope to talk to you again.